I want the stuff I want, and I want it now, and I want it all. This is not the Sistine Chapel. I mean, these are really fun little monsters. It's magic. And there's all this really trippy stuff, you know. And I say this all the time. I don't do drugs, I don't drink. And the reason is I don't have to because this stuff just appears in my head anyway. So I mean, I've been drawing as long as I can remember. I mean, I don't know that I sort of came onto the planet with a pen in hand, but it couldn't have been much long after that. Did all sort of the regular stuff, like school, newspaper, yearbook club, like all the really geeky stuff. I had my first drawing printed when I was 12 and I was completely hooked. So I'm a complete ink whore. The first thing was actually a Donald Duck drawing for a German fanzine called Der Donaldist, which is a magazine dedicated, of course, to the scientific study of Donald Duck comics. Why monsters? You know, I get that question, and people are expecting that I'll go, ah, oh, well, you know, I've been obsessed with monsters ever since I was a little boy, and God, I've been, you know, when I was in high school, I was drawing monsters. I have no particular interest in monsters, honestly, and they just sort of found me. I was driving, I was curving along that big, long curve at the LA Convention Center, and suddenly I had this image on my arm of a monster. And I thought, oh, you know, it looks friendly. I should probably draw it. And I drew the little guy, and uh, then immediately did 50 more, because that's sort of how my brain works, is that if I like something, I want to just do it a lot. Probably another reason why I don't drink or do drugs. I see him more as characters than really as sort of, oh, I have this fascination with scary monsters. These are these little characters, and they're these little living things that need my help to, to come out, and so that's why I do them. By calling them monsters, they can be whatever shape they want to be. And so that makes it this great canvas to really explore hundreds of different shapes. And it also gives people license to tell whatever story they want to tell. Also through the shape that they have with the ink blot, with this sort of almost, you know, Mandelbrot fractal edge to them, it's completely unclear what size they are. And that's, in fact, in some of the clips where you think you're looking at a very small monster and then you put in these tiny little humans and all of a sudden you realize that this is sort of a gargantuan creature. And that again is sort of part of the drama of the clips to, to put something in at the end. Where everything, where sort of the, the position shifts a little bit. When I'm drawing the monsters, I really just try to see the shape and I try to very much to be in the moment. It becomes very meditative. I mean, I can feel my breathing slowing down. It's a very monastic experience. The big moment is when do I see the full creature? Sometimes I look at the ink blot and I see the whole thing. And then I just have to put the lines down to circumscribe it. And in some instances, I just see little bits. And then the rest of the figure sort of reveals itself over time. So the point is to give as honest and real time an account of what actually happened as is possible, because it's not something that usually you get to see in you know, an art catalog or an illustration book. You don't get to follow that. All you get to see is the highly varnished end product. And I think it's more fun, because it's very easy to overproduce and polish the edge right off of everything. And what I wanted to have with this is much more kind of a making of documentary, uh, sort of behind the music type experience almost just to have something that's real and that feels like it's, it's alive on the page and that the human hand and the human element, in my case the human hand is, is literally in it, but in, in all aspects, to have it clear that there's a person behind it. You gotta always have a few seconds at the end. Oh, he's looking very real, isn't he? Oh my. Really, mm. <laughs> so I like this guy. Um, excellent. Hmm. And so if it weren't for having the monsters on the internet and having people interact with them, 
you know, it wouldn't be what it is now, which is this, this sort of time capsule. Listen, I can't play the guitar, I can't sing, I can't do any of that stuff. I can make characters, I can draw, and I can design. And so I wanted to find a way of having a performance using the tools that I have at my disposal. So that's also why I draw upside down and why I write in reverse. That makes it into, you know, the daily monster we know and love today. Nemo Bugs.